Here we go. Uh, this is from the New Foundations Reading Test, the 190. I want you to take one minute. And when I say go, I want you to read it and we're going to discuss it. Go. Okay. You read it. Hopefully. Every time I give you that number, you're, you're trying to just practice your speed. And maybe you take two minutes. That's okay. Don't even get frustrated on that. This is a, this is, we're training right now. Okay. We're training and that's it. That's it. You, you need to know where you are with reading these so that you can practice and build the speed. Okay. But if you did it in about a minute, good job. All right. Let's, uh, let's look at this here. It says, uh, which of the following actions by kindergarten children demonstrates understanding of the alphabetical principle? So clearly, this is kindergarten, and this is a kindergarten alphabetical principle scenario, right? So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for, uh, it says here, uh, actions. I like that word action. So what task did you, are you having them do? You're in your in your class in in your class um, in your classes. You're constantly asking your students to do things, right? Do this, do that, do this. You're giving them actions. Sometimes it's a math class and you give them math actions. I want you to find the derivative of the curve. Other times it's, you know, I want you to read this book by Tuesday. You're giving them actions. Well, these think of actions as uh, activities. Or maybe you can think of actions as uh, a learning experience. I like that one. Uh, a learning experience, right? Or how about this, an action as sort of like a, a mini lesson? Okay, let's just say an activity. So it really says, which of the following activities for kindergartners helps with alphabetical principle, which is a, a alphabetical principle activity. That's what it should have said, right? No one says actions. <laughs> what was I thinking? Well, actually, that's interesting because uh, no one does say actions. You say activities. So that means the person that wrote this was either trying to be original or they're, you know, you see what I'm saying? That's a clue on who wrote this because no one says actions. What's your action in math? No, you say, what's the activity in math, right? Anyways, and it doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Maybe they're trying to just not use the word activity so much. But basically what this says is, what's an activity for the alphabetical principle? All right, so here we go. Uh, is it, uh, I wanna work on the alphabetical principle, so we should do the alphabet song? Um, I'm gonna put a red flag on that, right? Remember, we said you gotta be careful with that. It might help get the letters in the student's oral language, which is always good but it's not necessarily gonna help them with letter sound correspondence, right? Cross that one off. How about this one right here? Uh, recognize and name letters of the alphabet on letter cards. So this is, this is a letter recognition and naming activity. But remember, we said with the alphabetical principle, it's, it's more about matching up letters with their predictable sounds. So we're not doing a, a recognizing and naming letters of the alphabet, right? That might be more like uh, that might be more like something like this, recognizing and naming letters of the alphabet, or something like this that helps them recognize and name uh, and name letters of the alphabet with a certain speed and automaticity. So that's really not what we're we're doing. Or or maybe even something like this, right? Uh, so 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 those aren't what we're doing. So we could cross those out. This is a good question. Uh, how about this one right here? Uh, distinguishing consistencies, uh, distinguishing consistently between similar shaped letters. Okay, so that's having an awareness of one features of a letter and looking at letters that are formed very similar, very similar. Ugh. Wordy. It's short, but wordy. That's not what we're doing. We're not really focused on the shape of the letters. Okay, so to review, the alphabetical principles, not really worried about the shape of the letters or singing a song or recognizing letters. It's matching up letters with their predictable sounds. How about this one, B? 
Use knowledge of letter sound correspondence to spell words phonetically when writing. And this one is the answer. And this one makes sense, right? So if we're trying to spell a word like cat, we take the word cat. Well, they're going to take that word cat and they're going to match up those letters. They're going to try and take those sounds, right? And match them up with letters that they think go with the sounds they hear in cat. So they're like cat. I hear a, I hear a cuss sound, by the way, that's probably, uh, the sound is probably represented by a K. K a t, right. And then they take that. I hear these sounds in that word and they match them up with sounds, uh, with letters that go correspond with that. So maybe they write cat like that. So what they're doing is they're writing out the word phonetically, how they hear it. They hear a cuss sound that goes with the letter K. They hear an A ah sound that goes with the letter A. They hear a T sound that goes with the letter T. So phonetic spelling is spelling using the alphabetical principle. It's not necessarily correct spelling, okay? But in, it's inventive spelling. They're matching up sounds with spelling patterns, with the most basic spelling patterns that they know, okay? All right, team, who likes this question? That's a good question, right? The good test. It's short. It's got a lot going on. The answer is B. And uh, that is a, a great, great question. Okay. All right. How about uh, I give you, uh, let's just go through and, and check off the, the words here. So it's from this test. We got alphabetical principle, alphabet song, some phonics going on, some phonetic spelling or inventive spelling, which we'll look at in a little bit letter recognition, uh, letter recognition and letter naming. I think that's what it should read, letter recognition and naming. Is that it? Let me make sure that's right. Uh, letter recognition, it's letter recognition and naming is what that should read. Lots of good stuff going on here in these questions, okay? The answer is B. And you're gonna remember that. You're gonna remember that because uh, you're thinking of an activity that, that uses the alphabetical principle. And this one does. It helps the student practice matching up letters with sounds and sounds uh, with your predictable letters, right? Okay, the answer is B. It's a good one. Let's go to the next one. 